Hey guys, it's Ange here and I'm here with Leah to show you what we are planning to do for Father's Day. So this week is Father's Day and it's actually John's very first one so I thought I'll do something special for him that he can keep as a keepsake for um, basically the rest of his life if he you know, basically wants to, which I'm pretty sure he will. Now Lily is a little bit grumpy today because she's not feeling the best like I said in my update. She has got a little bit of a cold and she's actually just not... <sighs> too pleased at all but we had to get this done today otherwise we're not going to be um, it's not going to be able to get done before um, the weekend when Father Day is here so this is what we're going to be doing today <laughs> so for this activity you'll need a plain mug basically it's one standard color I think white would look best for this um, you'll need a permanent marker um, you'll need some ink pads now I'm pretty sure I'm just going to use the black one for this um, and you'll need some wipes to so obviously wipe everything off. So that's what we're going to be using. So I guess you guys can probably think about what we are going to be doing. Um, but I'll just let you know anyway, just in case you don't. So what I'm going to plan to do is actually put Lilia's handprints on the cup as long as the footprint and then basically write um, Happy Father's Day, Love Lilia um, 2015 on his mug. Um, now my husband is a coffee drinker, so it's going to come in handy, I hope. So and after I basically do the pattern I'm going to pop it in the oven and slow cook it for I think it's for about three to four hours I'm going to slow cook the cup for um, at about 150 degrees so that's going to be what's going to happen so I'm going to start the activity now so I've just got the black ink out and hopefully you should be able to see I might actually put the camera down low a bit more so you can actually see it as well so so I hope you guys can see it. So I just moved the camera down a bit lower so you can see what we're actually going to be doing. Um, now, I haven't actually done this before, so I don't know if this is actually going to work or if it's even going to look any good, but I guess we'll see once the end product turns out. Okay, Miss Lilia. You ready? You can put your hand in the ink. Good job. Ready? Press, press, press. I'm basically just going to make sure that all her hand is covered. And by the looks of that, it is. And as you can see by her face, she's not very impressed with this whole situation. Are you ready, Lilia? Now so far so good it's actually turned out a lot better than what I thought it was going to be and hopefully I don't know if I can actually just fix the smudges up that she's popped on. I don't think she's actually going to last very long. Hey! Hey! Do you see the birdies outside? Can you see the birdies? So basically what I'm doing now is just basically wiping off all the marks that she's popped on with her hand when she mudged it around and hopefully it's going to look okay. So, so far so good I think. It's actually looking quiet. So that's what the little handprint looks like so far, which actually turned out a lot better than I thought. And I think you might need to be back to her foot soon and once she comes a little bit down. Okay, see you soon guys. Hey guys, we're back now. Lily just needs to be a little bit happier, so I thought I'll quickly jump on and just see if I can get her footprint done so I can get this thing in the oven and hopefully get it set. And I'm hoping it's going to work, so. Here goes her foot because her hands turn out really well. And hopefully her foot, she might like getting done a little bit better. Hey, Lilia. Oh, does that tickle? Does that tickle? Good job. Are you ready? And press. Hmm. 
and wrap all of it off. So this one doesn't actually need too much wipe. You know, I just need to do it around her big toe there. So that's actually turned out really well. So that's basically her foot there and her hand. And like I said, I'm basically just going to write um, Happy Father's Day 2015, love from Lilia. And I will show you the end product once it's done. Okay, see you soon, guys. Say bye, Lilia. Say bye, friends. She's very grumpy. Okay, bye, guys. So I finally finished Lilia's Father's Day gift. So basically, like I had yesterday, was her little handprint and her footprint that we did bake at in the oven for um, about three hours and then once it was out of the oven I basically just wrote this I said to daddy happy father say love Lilia 2015 and then I rebaked the whole cup again for another three hours on 150 degrees so that's basically all we did and that's one of Lilia's father's day gifts that she's going to give to her daddy so I hope you guys enjoyed that little activity and I hope you guys give it a go at home. Okay, bye guys.